Hi friends, welcome to another school counseling lesson with Mrs. Lofties. So let's start how we always do. Let's get our clapping hands ready and we'll do our come to the group song. Everybody come sit down, come sit down, come sit down. Everybody come sit down just like me. Everybody clap your hands, clap your hands, clap your hands. Everybody clap your hands just like me. Everybody pat your knees, pat your knees, pat your knees. Everybody pat your knees just like me. Everybody wave your hands, wave your hands, wave your hands. Everybody wave your hands and let them quiet be. Very good friends, you know what comes next. Let's do our listening rule song so you remember what to do with your body while Miss Loftis is teaching the lesson. Eyes are watching, ears are listening, voices quiet, bodies calm. This is how we listen, this is how we listen at group time at group time very good friends i see that you have your listening bodies and you're ready to hear what we're going to do in school counseling lesson today so in second step with your teachers you guys have been talking about something called self-talk self-talk is talking to yourself in a quiet voice or maybe a voice inside your head that only you can hear it helps you to focus and pay attention. It helps to remind you what you're supposed to be doing right now and what you're going to do next. Another really important thing about self-talk is it helps to encourage you. It helps you to keep going and keep trying when things might be a little bit hard. Today with Miss Lofties, we're going to do some self-talk yoga. All right, so... We're going to do some positive affirmations with our yoga today. Let's start by bringing our hands to our hearts and taking a few deep breaths in and out. In and out. One more. In and out. Our first positive affirmation is I am strong. Can you say that with me? I am strong. Very good, friends. All right, we're gonna pretend to be a strong surfer. This pose is called Warrior Two. So I want you to come up to the front of your mat or your rug or whatever space you're using. And from a standing position, I want you to step one foot back. Turn your foot so it's, it's facing out a little bit facing slightly outwards. I want you to take your arms and put them parallel to the ground. That means put them straight out, one in front of the other. Bend your front knee and look forward. Pretend to be a surfer and use your strength as you balance on those tricky waves. Great job. All right, give your body a little wiggle. Let's get ready for our next yoga pose. We're gonna practice the tree pose and our affirmation is I am kind. Can you say that with me? I am kind. Pretend to be a tree. All right, this is gonna take some balance. We're gonna stand on one leg, bend your knee and place the sole of your foot, that's the bottom part, on your opposite thigh. You can do it up high above your knee you can hold it down low. You can even keep it on the ground if that helps you to balance a little bit. Put your arms straight up and pretend to sway like a tree. Think of trees being kind and offering shade, creating oxygen, providing a home for animals to live in. Be a kind tree. Great job, friends. It's tricky to balance like that. Our next kids yoga pose is gonna be the chair pose. And our affirmation is, I am brave. Let's say that together. I am brave. Very good. 
we are going to pretend to be a skier. So I want you to stand tall and step your feet out just a little bit apart, about hip width apart. I want you to bend your knees, but keep your back straight and tall. Hold your hands out in front of you. Reach them up. Pretend to grasp onto ski poles as you fly down a ski run, down the mountain, like a brave and fearless skier. See if you can hold it, friends. Whoosh, 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 as you head down that big snowy mountain. Very good, friends. That would be really fun to be going down a snowy mountain right now, wouldn't it? All right. Our next pose is going to be called Downward Facing Dog. And our affirmation is I am friendly. Most dogs are really friendly, aren't they? All right, let's say the affirmation together. I am friendly. All right, to do a Downward Facing Dog pose, I'm gonna turn sideways so you can see this a little better. You're gonna bend down and place your palms. That's the, this part of your hand on the ground. You are going to step your feet back and you're gonna create a V shape with your body. You're gonna push your bottom high in the air, try to straighten out your back and your knees as best as you can. We're gonna relax our head and neck and we're gonna look down between our legs. See if you can make your body into a V shape. Look down at your feet and pretend to be a friendly, friendly dog. Good job, friends. All right, the last yoga pose we're gonna to do today is called the hero pose. And our last affirmation is I am wise. Can you say that with me? I am wise. Very good, friends. All right, so for the hero pose, we're gonna get down on our knees and we're gonna to pretend to be an owl, a wise owl. So I want you to sit on your, put your knees on the ground and sit down. Pretend to be a wise owl. Let's put our hands right here on our knees. Let's keep our shoulders up high. Let's twist our upper body first to the right. So you're gonna take this right hand and kind of put it behind you, your left hand here, and look. Really feel that stretch, friends. Makes me think of how wise owls twist their heads around, but we're twisting our whole body. All right, let's go to the other side. Take that left hand and put it behind you, your right hand across on your left knee, and twist. Very good. Now come back to the center. Let's put our hands on our hearts and take one more Big breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. Very good, friends. Wow, I feel really calm and really happy and positive now that we've done our self-talk yoga. I hope you feel the same way. Now, our lesson is over. But if you guys could leave me a video and show me your favorite self-talk yoga position, I would love it.